We're celebrating Black History Month here on First Coast Living and here to share a special selection of books by African American authors to learn more about the rich African American contributions to our history and culture. Rona Brindley, the owner of Bookmark, great to be with you. Well, good morning. It's nice to be with you as well. This it, was such a fun journey yes. to take. You can see I brought half the store with me. You came in and said you had so much fun with this project, <laughs> putting this together, and I can tell. So uh, where do we start? I did, because it's not just the authors, it's it's everything. So uh -huh. we start in the obvious one, which is illustrated black history, which, mm -hmm. you know, says it all. This is um, over hundreds of different people, some well-known, some not, with this amazing artwork. Mm -hmm. And it talks to you about people like Maya Angelou, um, Colin Kaepernick, mm -hmm. some people you've never heard of who um, created the first cocktail or, you know, worked as an abolitionist but not a famous name. So you get a great information about lots of people and you kind of get the history of African Americans in the United States through the people who made it special, both sung and unsung. Yeah, excellent. And the illustrations are just outstanding. Oh, the art is exquisite. So that was the perfect place to start that sort of ties it all together because it's in every field, you know, music, science, medicine, literature, art, everything. Mm -hmm. And so to continue the sung and unsung he thing is Frederick Douglass, who we all know, he mm -hmm. was an escaped slave at 20. He escaped slavery. He became the best known orator of his time, a serious abolitionist, worked on Reconstruction, the Underground Railroad. And then the unsung, Vigilance, is a book about William Still, is a name that I did not know, right, yes. who is considered the father of the Underground Railroad. Really? Okay, interesting. I know, so. but, but unlike Harriet Tubman and um, Frederick Douglass, he did the grunt work, he did the paperwork, he did the planning, he wasn't, you know, out there being public. So he became very important and kept it going, but he's not a name that we know as a household name. So for and kids doing those uh, history projects, that's right. yes, remember that name, William Still. That's right, somebody knew okay. that you'll be the only right. one who knows about, so that's kind of cool. Then I thought I would go to the classics, obviously, and Zora Neale Hurston is, you know, you can't ignore Zora Neale Hurston. She's a Florida girl, um, also went to my college, you know, Barnard, oh, cool. so nice. I feel attached to her and studied anthropology, like me. Um, and the right for watching God is this amazing story about a young black woman trying to find her way in the world. And her writing is just exquisite. I mean, you know, you get used to the dialect early on, and it's just poetic. Mm -hmm. And then with her, I have James Baldwin, The Fire Next Time, um, right. a newer classic, more of the civil rights era, the era than um, the Harlem Renaissance, but the same idea, dealing with resistance and what we need to do to be activists and to make things better. So two wonderful classics by mm -hmm. black authors. So that's the black authors part, right? Right, exactly. And then we have to get to modern authors because there's people all the time coming up. And the first one, um, she was born in Jacksonville, Donnie oh, Walton. Okay, didn't know that. Boy, quite I a know. find there. Okay. I know, the final revival of Opal and Nev, and it's about a black punk rock star who, be, who joins a band, and then she's in a concert, and she sees one band promoting themselves with a Confederate flag. Okay. And she has to decide what to do about that, and that has grave consequences. So All right, that's that'll a great be a page turner. Colson Whitehead has won the Pulitzer Prize, also for the Underground Railroad. The Nickel Boys is really based on uh, the Dozier School in Florida and the terrible things that happened there and all the children who were found dead. And so it, it's important to us, but it's a novel, so you can get that history right, without being knocked over the, the head. It is important to have the history. And then poetry. Amanda Gorman has become a household name because she um, did that amazing performance, really, at the presidential inauguration years ago. Okay. And she's young, and this is her first actual collection. And then mm -hmm. an older one, again, Langston, Langston Hughes. Langston Hughes, right. yep. Selected poetry of Langston Hughes. So you get two different perspectives, but again, dealing with different questions of racism and different questions of resistance, but through poetry, which has that rich language and tradition. Mm -hmm. For uh, sure. So we get these wonderful authors. And just to show you the diversity of everything that's uh -huh. going on, this is um, My America, Recipes from a Young Black Chef, Kwame Onwachi. That got my attention. I, I know. I see that. So it will make you hungry, too, <laughs> well, because yeah. he's really looking at everything, I mean the pictures are exquisite, uh -huh. everything from the um, African American diaspora, so anything from Nigeria to the South to the Bronx. Nice. And all the different food A and how to make of it. <laughs> greatness. <laughs> You'll never be hungry, but looking at the book it's going to make you really hungry. Yeah. And then finally I wanted to make the point that there's something for all ages. So you know, you, we talked about Misty right, Copeland, but there's up. 
a book by Misty Copeland of lots of black um, ballerinas. Mm -hmm. She was the first principal ball black ballerina in the American Ballet Theater, and so these are all of her icons. Ruby, I am Ruby Bridges, about a young girl who integrated her school. Poetry for Young Children by Amanda Gorman. There's science fiction by black authors, Jason Reynolds, Neil Schusterman. Wow. And then there's the wonderful series of um, Who Is and Who Was, Martin These Luther are King, some of my favorite. Jackie read, Robinson. Read those to my kids. You can yes. find anyone and everything. So really, there's something for all ages, and it's an important time to address all these things. So thank you for taking me on this journey. I really had fun taking the trip. Well, yeah, thank you for bringing all this uh, great, uh, great authors in and all the great information, of course. And of course, folks can find this at your bookstore. Absolutely. At the bookmark and also, of course, if you want to look at this segment, just head to our website, and that is firstcoastliving.net.